towards the direction of the clock or according to the hands of the clock. So I have this. All right, so for clockwise movement, I have just 1000. So it becomes 1000 in grams multiplied by the distance. For this, we can see that the distance here is 20 cm. All right, so it becomes times 20 cm. So this into 20, that's a clockwise, is equal to, for anti clockwise, the first thing we have here is 500 grams. So I have the 500 gram mass or weight. And the distance between the 500 gram to the fulcrum, that's this part here, is simply 20 cm. So this times 20, 500 times 20. Let's also add this to, we have a second anti-clockwise, which is simply 200 gram mass. And the distance from 200 to the fulcrum is x cm. So it becomes 200 times x. So this into 200 times x. So I have this. All right.